Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mr. Fahim Khan and I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. Today I'm going to tell you the top tips of IELTS speaking module. A lot of people face problem in IELTS speaking module. Here in the people where I'm living, in my part of the world, a lot of Pakistani people, they face problem and uh, whenever they would like to speak English, they first try to translate things in Urdu and then they try to, you know, convert things into English. Firstly, thinking Urdu, then converting in English. It is a problem for them here. I'm, I'm really telling you that the tips I'm going to tell you, these are the top tips of files. Number one, what you have to do, you have to be normal when you're going for interview, be formal. Number three, give a full answer. Number four, speak loudly and clearly. And one thing you have to remember, whenever you are going to take ISS especially, what you have to do, you have to speak loudly and clearly because in recording your voice will be very, very clear. And one thing more, very important, you have to stay and focus on the topic. One thing very important, don't use slang. You know about slang? What is slang? In our, you know, local language, people use those, some words which have don't connection with dictionary, right? And uh, you should never memorize answer. And when you're going to take five steps, speak up better there, dress up well there. And one thing very, very important, your you know, idea should be connected with the things, whatever examiner is asking. As far as speaking module is concerned, speaking, there are three sections. Number one, it is very easy. It's not a very difficult one. In first part, examiner asks questions related to your likes, dislikes, hobbies, hometown. It's a very easy part. For instance, if examiner is going to ask one question, and it's about uh, your hometown or it's about your priorities. If examiner asks question, which is your favorite food? Most of the students, they give answers. Some say, I like biryani. Some say, I like chicken manchurian. Different people have different things in their mind and their answers are not 100% good. Examiner will give never them nine band or seven band. Look, never give one word answer. Give a full answer. As I told you, first. And uh, the question is about food, your answer should be, if the question is, which your favorite food? You have to say, my favorite food is, and all the people speak like you, and it's a one option. sentence, it's not a good one here. What should be the sample answer? You have to say, I prefer Asian cooking, and of course, I love Chinese rice and vegetable, or if you like biryani, you can say that, I, my favorite, I, I'm, I love biryani, fine. As far as speaking, what first part is concerned, I told you, you know, you give full answer, understand things and it's a very easy part and uh, it's a mini interview you can say as the second part is concerned uh, first part is consists of four to five minutes second part consists of three to four minutes in second part examiner will give you cue card do you have an idea about cue card okay fine i'll tell you examiner will select the one topic and examiner will give you just one minute to jot down some points within one minute you can draw a bubble or spider diagram I mean that you can write down some points regarding the topic. For this topic is your favorite restaurant and what you have to do? You have to draw a line in the middle page. One blank page in pencil will be given to you by an examiner. And after that you, you can write 6 to 8 points. For instance today, Kuka topic is my favorite restaurant. First you have to write its name. It, it can be any, your favorite can be KFC, Gourmet, whatever you like. Then you can write down location then you can write down third point you went with friends or family family or friends then you can mention weekend you can talk about so one word weather then you can talk about food then you can talk about any celebrity you know actually the main thing is that here if you are able to make stories then you can easily speak one and a half minute there will not be any problem for you most of people face problem because second part is challenging part and uh, when you are going to make a story that, look, I have written one point, it's for celebrity, right? Whether you visit or not. For instance, that you can say that my favorite celebrity, Mr. Wasim Akram, very renowned Pakistani cricketer, and he went there, when I went there, I saw him there, and people were taking picture with him. So in fact, you need to make a story. And whenever you going to give presentation, right, before the examiner, first sentence can be, okay, right, then, well, after a bit of thought, I would like to talk about. Some people can start like 
I would like to talk about my favorite place, my favorite restaurant, whatever topic is given to you. You can say like this, fine. And uh, one thing, deliberately examiner will divert your attention. Examiner will look here and there. What you have to do, you know, you have to involve him. You have to say, do you know sir or ma'am, right? And one thing more important I'm going to tell you, when you're going to wind up, before wind up, you have to use one word important. You need to say anyway, fine. And uh, it's better examiner should interrupt and stop you. Examiner can interrupt after one minute, after one and a half minute. So you need to wait. Your stamina should be of speaking two minutes or more than this. Fine. And uh, one thing more, as far as the third part is concerned, when you're going to wind up the topic, you also can use the sentence like, uh, that's all from my side, or, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Fine. And uh, as far as the third part is concerned, because when examiner will interrupt, it means that the discussion part is going to start. And it's a very, very important part. In discussion part, examiner will ask questions related to the topic. If the topic is restaurant, your favorite restaurant, all questions will be related to the topic. And uh, answer sh should not be again one word, right? You need to give detailed answer and don't try to use very difficult words and don't try to use, you know, the words which you don't know their meanings. First of all, you have to know the words and their meanings, right? Speak simple, but speak, speak better. And one thing very important as for the full text is concerned here, most people, they believe and they, I think so that they have one, you know, misunderstanding. They believe that if you speak fluently, you are going to get seven, eight, nine. You know, in IELTS, there are four pillars for speaking module is concerned. Fluency, grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Accent doesn't matter, right? Pronunciation matter. If you're going to pronounce word here as local Pakistani people pronounce, they say layer, it's not layer. American people pronounce it, they say that it's a uh, layer. And British people say that it's a layer, not layer. Be careful when you're going to pronounce. And we see that there's a variation when you're going to talk about pronunciation of Britain, pronunciation of Americans, but it's better you pronounce it be according to the British people, right? Fine. Okay, let's talk about some more important thing I'm going to tell you. Whenever you're going to speak, you have to make your plans daily in English because in this way you can improve your English. And explain things which are into your interest. For example, say you are on the road and instantly it's raining. And you can imagine things. And you can automatically, you know, uh, speak few sentences. It's a very good way. You can learn. And uh, in your speaking, right, in the first stage, when you start speaking English, might be there are some pauses, long pauses. Don't worry about that. At least you need to take, need to take steps. It's very important. Fine. And uh, most of the time you have to demonstrate how many smart words you know, right, in your test. And in your test, one thing very important, use tenses, very important, right. And don't pronounce word, you know, as the one word, because I told you pronunciation matter, right. As for the important thing is that accent has nothing to do with pronunciation, so it will not affect your band score, right. And in speaking, don't use idioms, never. One thing, don't use idiom, slangs, and the words which are very difficult for you and don't know their meaning, right? So it is today, guys, about speaking module, right? So I keep on telling you in the next coming videos about speaking more tips which are very useful for the people here in my part of the world and the people all over the world, right? So if you use this very useful tip, I'm sure, inshallah, you will get very good band here. Thank you very much.